A lot of people wonder what it would be like to invest like a pro. They have this drive to be able to invest like a pro. It can feel like there's this huge divide between the investing professionals and us individual investors. The great news is that more and more services are becoming available every day that allow individual investors to invest like a pro. There's no longer this huge divide between the professional investing world and us individual investors. In this video, I'm going to share four ways that you can invest like a pro. If you have the discipline and the interest to do this, it can probably save you a lot of money when compared to using a full advisory service. I'm going to move from just the simplest investing strategy to more advanced investing methods. So there should be something of interest for all levels of investors here. I'll also share the method I use to invest like a pro and the brand new service that I'm most excited about. Okay, I'm going to start with the very first method and that is to simply implement a strategic asset allocation model yourself. This can be something as simple as an asset allocation, like putting 60% of your money in a stock index fund and 40% of your money in a bond index fund. Then you can rebalance every year back to those chosen set percentages. You may think that this isn't how the pros invest, but many financial professionals and financial advisors use a simple fixed asset allocation model just like this or very similar to this. And most financial educators and experts, influencers, etc., teach this as being the holy grail of investing, this particular method. I explain more about this whole strategic asset allocation, this simple model on to more advanced models in my video explaining the four types of financial advisors. So you may want to take a look at that if this seems confusing to you or you want to learn more about those different levels and sort of the levels I'll be addressing in this video as well. So I'll put a link to that in the description area under the video. How can you learn more about this method that so many of the professionals use? Well, on my website, I have an article with my favorite more, most of them are more advanced investing books. And all of these, of course, have been written by some type of financial professional. A couple of the books explain how to implement a simple asset allocation model similar to this with stocks, bonds, and even with other assets like maybe commodities or real estate. So they're a little more advanced. I personally like investing in something besides just stocks and bonds, as you might know if you frequent my channel. I'll put a link to that article in the description section under this video or to the right of the video, depending on how you're viewing it. This method is definitely the easiest way to invest like a professional if this is the type of investing you want to do. This is not the method I use to invest, as I'll talk about more in just a second, but I want to just point that out right away. I'm not promoting or saying that I do use a basic fixed asset allocation model. I just want to throw that out. It's simple to implement a strategic asset allocation model. It's really easy. It takes about an hour a year to manage something like this with an annual rebalance back to those fixed percentages that you want in each asset class. And that has to be done because the asset classes, the, the amounts will rise or fall during the year. So you do have to rebalance that annually, but that's, that's not a big deal. And maybe the initial setup may take maybe two hours if you're going to select a brokerage firm and then open the account and learn how to buy the funds. Just set up that basic asset allocation. Again, you may think that professionals don't use this strategy. They do. It's very, very common. If you want to know more about this method, just let me know in the comments section below. 
And I want to just give a little disclaimer that I touched on just a second ago. I don't personally invest using a fixed asset allocation model, and I'm going to tell you really briefly why. It's because this model is based on the belief that when stocks go down, bonds will always go up. And that's just not the truth. Bonds do sometimes go up when stocks go down. But the fact is stocks and bonds have moved in the same direction more often than not since the 1920s. Bonds also go down in price when interest rates rise, making them subject to volatility, especially when interest rates are low. So holding bonds, no matter what, just no longer appeals to me. I did this back in the 1990s when I had that fixed sort of rigid asset allocation that's so popular now. In fact, Investors got a taste of this problem with that fixed asset allocation in 2022 when stocks and bonds moved down together when the Federal Reserve began raising interest rates to tame inflation. And the reason they were holding the stocks and bonds, the bonds in particular, was because it was a risk management tool for stock bear markets or stock market declines. And it just didn't work. And that's the whole logic behind the strategic, that fixed asset allocation model I explain with like 40% in bonds and 60% in stocks. I've done other videos about this and you can also just let me know in the comments if you have questions about this if you, or if you don't understand it. But nevertheless, I wanna say that fixed percentages, aka those asset allocation models into stocks and bonds, that is still the most popular investing method. Many, many financial experts, financial advisors, professionals do that model, use that model. And it can also admittedly perform really, really well during certain, but not all, economic environments. And it takes very little effort. Okay, so that is the very first way you can invest like a pro. That's the simplest way. And now we're going to get into a little more advanced methods. Okay, the next way that you can invest like a pro is simply by following a pro. There are thousands of investing pros that publish investment recommendations. Some of these pros have large research teams behind their work and others are just solo investors that do their own research. This is their passion, this is their thing. These publishers aren't necessarily registered investment advisors, meaning they don't invest for you, but some of them are. These pros make investment recommendations, usually through a paid service on either their own website, maybe on something like YouTube, or they may make recommendations through a platform such as Seeking Alpha. You set up your own account and you make the investments yourself. You just follow the recommendations and the advice of the professionals. There are many, many professionals that do a good job with this. This would be a way to invest commission-free for most securities that are recommended. I've used services like this myself in the past to save on research time, and I've found some really good professionals. Let me know in the comments if you want to know more about my experience with this. This method costs just a fraction compared to having a financial advisor make those investments for you. Sometimes the recommendations are the exact same investments that financial advisors are making for their clients. For example, I learned on the Thoughtful Money YouTube channel recently that financial advisor Lance Roberts at Real Investment Advice has begun providing subscription-based recommendations to individual investors in addition to their full service advisory. So they've got their financial advisors and they, that's sort of their main business. But then they said, well, let's just also make recommendations to the general public, not just people that are our clients through our advisory service that are paying us to invest their money. Now, this isn't a free service. You have to subscribe to it and you have to pay for it. But it's, it's a very reasonable price when I, it was certainly when I looked at it. Lance said that they are sharing the same investments that they're making for their advisory clients in the subscription service at Simplevisor. So one warning is that 
Most of these services focus on one type of investment, such as a certain type of growth stock, like high dividend stocks, or maybe, maybe really technology, very high growth stocks. I can't emphasize enough the danger of only investing in stocks without some form of risk management and overall financial plan. If you need some help with this, check out my investing course. I'll put a link to it in the description. It goes into a lot of detail about this. Okay, the third way that you can invest is to copy trade. I'm excited to tell you about this new platform that's just launched this week that allows individual investors to copy the pros. It's called Dub. I need to tell you that I am an investor in this company. Dub is only available right now on iPhones. So if you own an iPhone, you can check out the app. Being new, there are only a few experts on the platform as of now. The professionals that you can copy are both financial advisors and also individual investors. Dub is the first copy trading platform. It's different from Seeking Alpha because you can actually invest right there in the Dub application. You don't have to take the advice and then go to a different brokerage account or your own brokerage account. You can actually follow the professionals there, the experts and their recommendations and go ahead and make your investments there right on the Dub app. Let me know in the comments section if you want to know more about Dub. The fourth way you can invest like a professional is to implement a professionally developed tactical strategy. With this method, you invest like the pros based on implementing an overall asset allocation similar to that very first method we talked about versus investing in individual securities like you might get at something like Seeking Alpha or you might get at something like Dub. You can invest following a professionally developed strategy that rotates into asset classes based on long-term trends. The goal is to rotate into assets that show strong indications of performing well in the near term and rotate out of declining assets. I personally like this method for asset allocation because it manages risk and return by rotating instead of just buying and holding assets no matter what. The strategies have been developed by various types of financial professionals. There are about 80 strategies from which to choose, but some of the strategies are those fixed buy and hold strategies like I explained in method one above. Things like Ray Dalio's all weather strategy, for example, is one of the strategies on Allocate Smartly. But there are plenty of rotating strategies as well. These strategies use or suggest ETFs for investing. That's what I use. And this is how I invest several portfolios. I use the service called Allocate Smartly to research and select the strategies and make it easier to implement. It takes me under an hour a month to manage this in multiple accounts. Really, it's usually about half an hour. Sometimes I do a little extra, but under an hour for sure. I did an Allocate Smartly review video. If you wanna check that out and learn more about this, I'll put a link in the description area under the video. I am an affiliate with Allocate Smartly, so I decided to create training with eight videos on getting started with Allocate Smartly as a courtesy for anyone who buys through my affiliate link, which is in the description section. Whichever method you choose to invest like a pro, remember to manage risk and have an overall financial plan that takes you to your desired lifestyle. That's why we invest. And remember, retire certain.